introduce an awesome, dynamic, great business leader that knows the ins and outs of business with 15 years of experience. He's a business consultant, business financing and financial literacy coach, a senior partner with Small Business Systems LLC. I am honored to know him. He will help you gain insight and steer you in the right direction with your business. Mr. J. Mattier. Thank you, Kuana. Thank you very much for that introduction. Uh, I know that we talked about COVID-19 and the reopening, and there's a lot of confusion out there. But what we want to do is to help you to navigate through the whole COVID-19 reopening process. We know that there's a lot of guidelines. We know that people uh, are opening. We know that there are people that don't know when they're going to open, people that want to open. We've got a series of things going on but what we wanted to do is help you navigate through the process of opening and reopening with regards to uh, COVID-19. Uh, the North Carolina has a new program it's called Count On Me and what it does it kind of outlines best practices that you need in order to open your business. Let's just see. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, best practices opening a business. Uh, we know that there's social distancing. We know that there's sanitizing. We know that there's signage, but we don't know exactly, you know, where to get it, what to do with it, uh, how how much it should be. And so, the uh, North Carolina put together the Count on Me program, and we're going to go through that and try to get you some direction on that. Okay. Okay. This training is the North Count on Me training it, program is focused on providing the necessary knowledge and information needed to manage COVID-19 within businesses and provides a consistent approach based on the state and the nation's guidelines. It's a rigorous content that was developed and review process has been followed for all training to ensure consistency with available standards. Material has been created in conjunction with the following Count On Me North Carolina partners, the North Carolina Restaurant and Lodging Association, North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, Foods, Food Protection and facility, Facilities Branch. Visit NC and NC State Extension each of these short training sessions are designed to be less than 30 minutes long and are delivered online in an engaging and interactive format. Training materials have been created by NC State Extension Safe Place Program. This program is designed to incorporate the best available science and social and physical distancing, employee health and cleaning, sanitizing and disinfecting, and it presents the consideration of adult education and behavior theories. The training modules, at the completion of the training, you receive a printable count on me certificate and be featured on a list of participating businesses. You'll also get access to a Count On Me toolkit that includes social media assets and materials on how to show guests and their staff you've gone above and beyond to protect their well-being. The training modules consist of restaurant owner and operator training, front of house staff, restaurant back of house staff and then all businesses cleaning and disinfecting services for COVID-19 management. This way you'll learn the protocols for cleaning and disinfecting to help keep everyone in the establishment safe. There's also a general best practice training for management. So we have a variety of trainings. A lot of it is geared towards the restaurant industry which they have uh, food and health, they're required to do certain things anyway, so they're kind of ahead of the game. 
but then we have trainings for all additional businesses that might need it. Additional resources we have here, the restaurant industry reopening guidelines. There's an enhanced industry-wide hotel cleaning standard for COVID-19. There's industry guidance for promoting health and safety of all travelers. There's also one for vacation rental cleaning guidelines for COVID-19. Non-healthcare employee uh, symptom screening check list. So there's a variety of resources to help you open and reopen your business. There's also a Count On Me NC Restaurant Compliance Checklist, which is very uh, important with regards to restaurants because like I say, they have safe serve and they're required to do certain things by state anyway. They get a score um, each time that an inspector goes out. So this checklist, even if you're not a restaurant, might be good to take a look at just to see what are the appropriate things and what the guidelines are uh, demonstrating. There's a COVID-19 reopening consideration for global attraction industry. So we have Carowinds, we have uh, a number of water parks and different things. We have the Whitewater Center. So those particular places are required to follow certain guidelines. COVID-19 reopening considerations for global uh, attraction industries. So we want to make sure that everyone is protected when they go out to those particular establishments. There's also one for spa reopening toolkits. So anyone that's in that uh, spa, massage, uh, beauty care, any industry where there's personal contact, personal relationship, we have to uh, adhere by those particular guidelines and as well as National Park Service public health updates. Frequently asked questions. Who is the training for? There are several training modules available currently for restaurants, owner managers, the front of the house and back of the house. Additional modules for cleaning staff and other businesses will be added soon. Does this satisfy North Carolina's requirements for a certified man food manager? No, this is a voluntary training specific to COVID-19 protocol calls and does not replace other training requirements set by the state of North Carolina. Which training should I take? There are several training modules available. Pick the one that most closely aligns with your job. Currently, restaurant modules are available for owner managers, front of the house, back of the house, additional modules, and for cleaning staff, other businesses will be added. How long does the training take to complete? The training takes approximately 30 minutes all the way through, but you can start and stop at any point. Can I take the training on the phone? Yes, the training is available on desktop, tablets, and on most mobile devices. Can I start the training and then come back to it later when I have time? Yes, you can restart the training where you left off. What information do I need provide to take the training? You provide your name, email address, and company name to access the training. Continuing with frequently asked questions, can I adjust the logo image in color, size, etc.? The marketing toolkit included includes a, a variety of shapes and sizes and colors, so you can choose what works best for you. Brand guidelines are included and give you specific instructions for use. I work at more than one restaurant. Can I make copies of my certificate? Yes, you can download as many copies of your certificate as you would like. Does the certificate expire? or when do I have to take this training again? The certificate does not expire and you do not have to take the training again unless you change jobs, i.e. moving from front to back house or some other environment or some other business. How does a participating business get listed on the Count On Me NC website? 
you will be listed once you complete the training it will guide you to a section where you can actually be listed you add your company name your website uh, address and all that information and you will get automatically added once you complete the training so what are things that you can do now you can help create a, a safer, healthier environment for everyone by following a few guidelines and best practices. Wear a cloth face covering like a mask or a scarf. Wait your turn by maintaining six feet of physical distance from others. Wash your hands often with soap, open water for at least 20 seconds or use hand sanitizer. Use contactless delivery or takeout options if you have been recently exposed to or have symptoms of COVID-19. And you want to be patient and kind to staff and other guests as we all try to adjust to the new norm. This is new for everyone, so we want to just be patient. We want everyone is trying to get used to this, so we want to do that. The things that businesses are doing they ensure their staff wear clo uh, face cloth coverings they cannot if they cannot keep six feet apart in some cases where you have servers that have to come to your table there's not the distancing that you would need but as long as they're providing that protection with face coverings or face masks we we hope that that will be enough to make you feel safe you want to ensure safe sanitized sanitation practices are followed You want to administer health checks to all staff prior to shift start. You want to make sure indoor and outdoor seating meets all physical and distancing guidelines. You can provide hand sanitizer or hand washing stations at the entrance. Clean and sanitize common areas, bathrooms, and high touch surfaces regularly using the CDC recommended guidelines. You want to clean and sanitize all tables and hot surfaces after every use. And you want to clean settings, utensils, menus, and condiments after every use or provide single use options. For further assistance, you can contact Small Business Systems at 704-264-0537 or at our website or at sales at sbsystems.us. We will help walk you through the training and assist in providing you with any materials, signage, PPE, and guidelines. We also want to be able to, sometimes paperwork and going through processes gets a little confusing and a little frightening to people. So we will actually help you and set up an audit to come in, go through the audit, do the checklist, and help provide you with the necessary products and equipment that you need. So don't be afraid to reach out to us. We're here to help you navigate through this whole COVID-19 reopening and beyond.